You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, GH fans. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I have got your two-week spoilers. These run from Monday, September 18th, all the way through Friday, September 29th. There is a lot of action. We have got just a crap pile of dated spoilers for week one, and then we've got sizzling but undated spoilers for week two, but I am really, really excited about these week two spoilers. They are all just insane and about front burner storylines. I think you guys are really going to dig these. All right, we are going to dig into all of these spoilers, but if you haven't already, please reach down and click subscribe so you don't miss any of our general hospital updates. If you want to get notifications about when we have new videos up, you click the little bell and in your settings, you can decide if you want to get a text, if you want to get an email, it's in the YouTube setting so any channel that you subscribe to if you set up and click notifications you'll get notified but you should definitely be subscribed to our channel first and foremost all right let's dig into all the action next week monday september 18th has brooklyn quartermain confessing something it is to chase and she is going to come completely clean to him about the information that she stole from the computers at deception and that she delivered to her granny she's going to tell him why she did it and of course it's all about him i just really hope that he forgives her nina offers assistance to someone I really hope that it's Sasha and Cody, but we'll see because it's Dante and Sam who are working with them right now. Marshall Ashford is worried, and Martin Gray faces some very serious questions from ex-wife number three, Blair Kramer. What's funny is she wants him to go ahead and marry Lucy so that she can stop paying him that alimony, but he doesn't want to give it up. But I think after the threats from Blair, maybe he might put a ring on it. We'll see. Valentine Cassidine is stunned on Monday, and I'm sure this is more of the carryover from all the carnage at their hotel room. It looked like blood, but it's ink. And then it looks like almost written in paint or lipstick on the mirror about Anna is not going to get away with this. And I'm very interested. I wonder if this is about Alex and maybe something about her shooting Alex and about her letting Peter August die. People have asked, oh, how would she know? She could find out. She could figure it out. But we'll see. Tuesday, September 19th. Eddie Main has a new gig. That's exciting. And Portia Robinson is feeling left out. I wonder if she is going to find out about the Sprina trip to New York or if this is something about Marshall and about Curtis. But I don't think that Portia is going to take the news that Spencer and Trina are planning to leave town together very well at all. Sonny issues a warning to Dex. I sure hope he fills him in more on what is happening in the background that Dex doesn't already know. And somebody comes to see Anna. I really, really hope that it's whoever is tormenting her because I think we're all about tired of not knowing and them dragging this out. Marshall also is very insistent about something on Tuesday. Midweek on General Hospital, it's Wednesday, September 20th, and Cody Bell issues an apology. Liz and Finn discuss what to do for Gregory Chase and his diminishing ALS situation. And again, I know we're all still hoping that it's not really ALS. And Lucy gets into an argument with Maxie. I wonder if she tells Maxie about the deal that she agreed to with Tracy. It sounded like Lucy was going to take the deal, but then when Tracy threw out the give back the 1% stock, that it seemed like they might have been in an impasse. So maybe Maxie's telling her, look, cut the deal. I need my paycheck. You know, give her the 1%. So we'll see what side Maxie comes down on. Nina proceeds with caution on Wednesday, and BLQ is back over to see her granny on Wednesday, and she has some very harsh words. She feels like her grandmother has really screwed her over royally. But in fact, Tracy, you know, did help out Chase when BLQ had screwed him over. So she kind of brought this on herself. I just don't know why 
why she didn't suspect that Tracy wasn't up to something horrible because Tracy is always up to something horrible. That's her modus operandi. Thursday, September 21st on General Hospital, Diane gets together with Robert. Very curious to see what they're talking about. And Sam asks Willow for a favor. And I suspect this might be related to the Sasha storyline. Anna is at a dead end and Drew has an update for Carly. This is very interesting because, of course, we all saw Cyrus Renault eavesdropping on Drew trying to get the information about Dr. Austin. And I definitely worry that Cyrus is going to do something very, very bad to Drew. Meanwhile, Valentine goes looking for Dante, and I'm sure he's not very happy that Dante gave that flight manifest to Anna that listed him on the Pikeman private jet. Friday, September 22nd, Molly gets good news. Clearly, it's probably about the surrogate. A lot of people have dropped in the comments that they feel like the surrogate might be too good to be true and might be scamming them. That would certainly be an interesting twist. Curtis has some reservations about something. I don't know if that's about Trina leaving town with her boyfriend, because that same day, Spencer and Trina are very eager to be on their way. Drew finds himself targeted on Friday, and I'm sure it's down to the favor he is doing for Sonny, and Christina makes a new friend. Interesting. The two-week spoilers, there's only three of them, but boy, are they sizzling hot. You guys are going to love these. Real quick before we dig into them. If you haven't already, please reach down, click that like. We love to get the thumbs up if you're enjoying these two-week spoilers, and definitely click subscribe if you haven't already. That helps the channel, and we really appreciate it. All right, let's dig in. Carly lashes out at Sunny, and I wonder if that's because she finds out that Drew was targeted as a result of him doing that spying favor for her ex-husband. Sam and Sasha Gilmore kick off their plan. I'm guessing this has something to do with taking down Gladys and Montague. And I am so excited that Sasha is free and empowered and in a position to get payback for herself. I hope by the time this is over that Gladys and Montague are either pushing up daisies or in prison. And I don't care which. I don't care if they're dead or convicted. Either way, I want them to pay because this has just been so horrible for poor Sasha. Also in the two-week spoilers, Esme Prince sounds an alarm. That's interesting because that's hot on the heels of Spencer and Trina getting ready to leave town. Is this a legitimate emergency or is this just her looking for a way to stop them from getting closer together? As we know that they definitely have some intimacy planned for their NYC trip. So we will see what Esme is up to. That's everything we have. Please drop your comments on what you're excited to see these two weeks. I read every one of your comments. I don't always have time to reply to every single one, but I definitely read them all and I appreciate you guys interacting with us here on the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in for this two-week General Hospital spoilers update. This has been Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 